Hello friends, welcome to this lecture of computer graphics where I will discuss the topic of CRT display devices. CRT stands for cathode ray tube is a device which is used while viewing something on monitor. So what are the various kind of the CRT display devices? Let's check. The CRT display devices which are basically discussed in computer graphics are DVST which stands for Direct View Storage Tube The second one is random or calligraphic display device third one is raster or refresh display device before discussing all these kinds of display devices, let us first understand the basic concept of structure of CRT. So, in the structure of CRT, we have the uh, we have this structure where the first component is a tungsten, which is used as a heating element. The second component is basically cathode, which is Positively, it is basically, it is negatively charged component. The third component is focusing at all. The next component is accelerating and all. And both these components are basically positively charged.
So, when we pass a power supply to CRT, it basically excites the electrons of tungsten component and as we apply more and more power supply it will lead to the more excitation of the electron at this component as a result of which due to the negative charge uh, due to the negative charge of this component itself and the more production of more and more electrons these electrons will move towards the next component which is cathode since the electrons produced if has a more excitation of electrons and since the electron is negative in itself after reaching this component which is basically negatively charged it the repulsion of electrons takes place because the negative and negative the two negative charge always repel each other so this this the 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 electron signal the electron beam this electron beam will repel to towards focusing anode and the task of focusing anode is to focus the electron beam in the straight line since it is positively charged and since the electron passed by the cathode is a negative charge they will attract each other and this attraction will lead the electron beam to travel in a straight line further the this electron beam will move towards the accelerating anode accelerating anode which is again a positively charged component it will keep us keep providing it it will keep providing the speed to the moving electron of electron beam as a result of which it gets thrusted to move towards in a straight line and at this point there is a some deflecting elements which will deflect this electron beam to be traveled in multiple direction and the segregated beam will move to fall on the monitor screen so when the electron move to this screen it will it will start glowing and the process uh, start glowing and the reason for glowing of this electron is the coating of electron uh, coating of monitor screen with phosphorus element the property of phosphorus is that of a uh, glowing when some electron fall on the phosphorus coated screen it leads to the glow of the monitor screen at that particular point so this process of glowing of a part of monitors or part of phosphorus coated screen after falling off electrons 
is known as Foss Forest Scene. This term is very important because it is directly asked in exam what do you mean by phosphorus scene? So, this is all about the basic structure of CRT. We will try to cover more points on the structure of CRT device in our next lecture.